and you're just going to guide her this way a little bit. No, don't pretend you need to eat now because you don't. So she's fidgeting. Fidgeting is a sign of stress. I'm on a tender spot with my fingertips at C, it's actually C7. I thought it was C6. Bringing her head around. I'm going to stick with this a little bit because I'm on a very significant muscle knot. And I'm going to jiggle ahead. Just hold on to it. So she's releasing a little stress now, you can see. So it's good to do this. It's, we're opening this up. She's making decisions. She's feeling, you know, he's like, he's touching that spot, but it, on the second, you know, but here, come on, we don't want to eat yet. Cause there's, she almost like doesn't want to deal with this. So I'm going to adjust this spot now because I'm on it. My fingertips are down in here and I'm going to look away. Got it. Hey there, it's Dr. Doug Willen, and here we are at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. So we're gonna be working on some horses today. We're gonna to check them head to toe. If you want more information of Rising Star, it's in the description below. Well, we're having fun today. <laughs> so we have Pixie here today. Pixie is a permanent residence here at Rising Star and she does a lot of events, right? And mm -hmm. is it safe to say she's almost like a little Sebastian of, uh, do you know who that is from I, Parks and Recreation? Oh no, I don't. Yeah, so in the TV show Parks and Recreation, little Sebastian was this beloved little mini horse. Oh, okay. um, not as big as, is Pixie, but would do all the public events and go to the fundraisers and the charity events. Yep, and do you think Pixie thing. does that? She so, does when, yeah. when we were able yeah. to. Um, yeah. She'd go in parades, we take her to schools, nursing homes. Mm -hmm. So she's very um, active in the community, right? Mm -hmm. She is. She's our spokespony. Yeah, spokespony. That's a good name. So um, I'm just going to see. I mean, she's in a very excited mood right now. And uh, so we'll just see. I'm just gonna kind of touch some areas. And um, let's see, I might have you back was, up a little bit so you won't be in the shot. We, we pinned you down, it's our fault. Yeah, we, we did, that was our fault. This is gonna be fun, so we'll see. So let me, um, you know, we're getting a lot of movement, but I'm just gonna first feel her a little bit and um, does she known to kick a little bit or no? No, not Just that headbutt. Way. She just headbutted me. Oh. So let's see. So I'm going to feel up here around the pole and then the TMJ. I'm just touching and looking. Coming down the neck and here too. And down the shoulder. Blinking there. Do you see that right here? That's a blinking spot. And there. And there. So that's it. So that's C6. Sorry about that. You know, you feel that one, don't you? I know that's sensitive. So I might have you come this way with your head just a little bit. So you create enough slack so I can move her. She's not going to like this because I'm on a very tender spot. Let's just hold it for a second, though. And I'm just going to guide her this way a little bit. No, don't pretend you need to eat now, because you don't. So she's 
fidgeting. Fidgeting is a sign of stress. I'm on a tender spot with my fingertips at C, it's actually C7, I thought it was C6. Bringing her head around. I'm gonna stick with this a little bit because I'm on a very significant muscle knot. And I'm gonna jiggle ahead, just hold on to it. So she's releasing a little stress now, you can see. So it's good to do this. It's, we're opening this up. She's making decisions. She's feeling, you know, he's like, he's touching that spot, but on the second, you know, but here, come on, we don't want to eat yet. Cause there's, she's almost like doesn't want to deal with this. So I'm going to adjust this spot now because I'm on it. My fingertips are down in here and I'm going to look away. Got it. Just give her a second to feel that. She just went quiet. Adjusted right into C7. I thought it was C6, but it was C7. Give her a second. Just let her feel that. Can she come by? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I put um, Layla in Faith's stall. You can come this way. Okay. Um, because her stall was being finished. Yeah. So. I bet. Be nice. Not Sorry. There's more. No, he shouldn't. He shouldn't be coming this way. Okay. He, he's on, he lives on the other side. All right. So give a little slack, just a little slack right there. And let's go back into that area. Come here. There you go. Good, let's stretch that all the way around. Good. One second, just hang in there. to do that right now. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Good. So let's check your spot now. Back to C7. Okay, C7 is relaxed now. Now when I rub C7, I'm going to touch this little relaxing point behind the shoulder. Let that relax. You're okay. I'm going to check up at the pole. There's the spot. Do you see the eye blinks? Just right touching the pole on the left. I'm up here at the very top. A little pressure, a little pressure. And another horse is coming over. Let me see. Okay. I'm up here on the pole. I'm up here on the pole. All right, Pixie. Very sensitive, very sensitive. Okay. Just 
going to feel that with my thumb. I'm up here on the pole. Got it. I just adjusted. We'll give her a second for that one. I had to sneak that one, but I just did the right pull. She comes right over. Let's see what she does. Give her a second to integrate that. It's okay that I let her like. No, we're gonna bring her back. Okay. We're gonna bring her back. Yeah. All right. You ready? Let me do a little more now. All right. So I'm at the withers. Let's check the pole again. Now that you're standing still. Let that relax. Not as bad though, right? Let the head come down. Let the head come down. There you go. Good. So let's move on. We're going to go into the withers. Coming down the back. A little do -si do we're doing. So I have something here at transition of um, T18L1, right side. I'm gonna just adjust it. I don't need my bell for this. There you go. What do you think of that one? Michelle, I'm making you work today, right? I feel like they're Kind of some kind of mood today. Yeah. It's like it's, a full moon or something. Yeah, every know. horse today is intense, right? Got it. Oh, I could hear that one too. So let's see if we can get you to relax a little bit. Okay. Just suggested uh, L2. I'm going to come around. No, we're good. She's got a left SI, uh, AS ilium on the left. It's okay, I'm gonna just come from right here because it's ready. Got it, you can hear that click too. That was a big pop. All right. I'm gonna touch the hip too. My hand's under the tail. My wrist is under the tail. And more horses are coming by. And then back over here. So I'm under the tail. I'm touching um, like a reflex point on the back of the glute. And I'm watching for her to relax. And I'm going to just hold it and I'm looking at her face, looking at her eyes blink. So right now I'm on a spot, it's making her eyes blink, but in a minute that'll stop. Her eye will stop blinking if I hold the spot. It takes a minute because it's a really good reflex point. Let her relax. Just going to hold it. What a day, right? I'm putting a little pressure with my thumb up into that muscle. Now she's stopping blinking. She's checking me out. Go ahead, relax. Swaying the hips with my chest. Something's going on. There we go. 
And she's relaxing. So I'm going to let go of that point. Let me check the right side now. I mean the left side. Are you not going in? Yeah. Checking down the back one more time. Watching her for reaction. Come over here, let me look at you. TMJ. That's the sensitive spot. Okay, baby. Nope. Got it. That was a left TMJ. Start to relax a little bit now. Holding these little facial tension points. Nose flaring, look at the nostrils. Eyes blinking. finish there.